Okay, I'm just gonna、um, go through these questions step by step with you. It's not a very hard question. It is just a little bit long. Okay,、um, the height of a ball、um, t seconds after it's thrown is modeled by this quadratic function. So we've got this quadratic function here, and then、um, I'm just gonna get my pin.、Um, Okay, so I have this quadratic function, and I know that it's got a negative sign here. So I know immediately it's gonna be a set phase. Okay, so um, and then my my variable is not x and y, but it is t. T represents time. So basically, t has to be above or equal to zero. Okay, um, because again, you cannot having um negative time. Um, so therefore, t has to be above or equal to zero. Okay. Okay. So let's keep looking.、Uh, what was the height of the ball initially? So basically, initially that means t equal to zero. So basically, what you need to do is to sub in t equals to zero. So negative two point five times zero to the power two plus, and that's zero two、uh, plus one point two. So h zero equals to one point two meters. That's it. Initial is always the zero, okay.、Um, and then second, find the height of the ball after four seconds and six seconds. So basically,、um, what you do is you sub in h four and h six. That's what you do, okay. So if you want to sub into a h four, that's gonna be h four. Equals to negative two point five times four to the power of two plus twenty one point six times four plus one point two, and then you use your calculator. So you use your graphic calculator to calculate h four equals to something, and same way you calculate h six equals something. Okay,、um, you can calculate yourself. I've uploaded the answer, so you could also refer to my answer once you finish calculation. So we've gone through that. We've gone through that now. When will the ball reach a height of forty meters? So in this time, a height of forty meters that's、um, indicating h equals to forty. So as easy as with c, you just sub in h equals to forty. Therefore, it's forty equals to negative two point five t to the power of two plus twenty one point six t, um, and then plus one point two. Okay, um, it this is looks really complicated, but if you take forty on both sides, make it a new quadratic equation. Okay, negative two point five t to the power of two plus twenty one point six t, um, take away, uh, so forty take so if you take forty on both sides, so that's gonna be thirty eight point eight. Equal to zero. So what you then do is to put this one into your graphic calculator, and then using the poly solve,、um, and then to get your two roots, which is t one equals to blah blah blah, and t two equals to blah blah blah. So、uh, from memory, one of the roots actually is below zero. It's a negative number. Okay, and then when you discuss which Number, so you could go and calculate yourself, but you got to really pay attention which t it is the t that you actually want. Here, you need to always think t is time, therefore has to be above equal to zero. So if you have a t which is negative, then you don't want it. You only want the one that fits into this domain. Make sense? Okay. So. We've gone through that. Find the maximum height of the ball and when it occurs. So I've drawn a graph here, roughly. That would be the maximum height. So maximum height. Okay. How are you gonna calculate the maximum height? What you do is you purely gonna use technique. So put h equals to Uh, negative two point five t to the power of two plus twenty one point six t plus one point two. You don't have to put h and t. What you do is you put y equals to、um, x 
plus 21.6x plus 1.2 into a calculator. You put these into a graphic calculator, into um, functions, okay? And then you all know how to make a curve with your graphic calculator. So put this into a graphic calculator and then uh, pressing solve and then uh, max. Okay, um, after I finish E, I'm actually going to show you on my screen how to use graphic calculator to calculate, um, to, to make a graph and then calculate the max. Okay, let's just leave that for now. How long does it take for the ball to hit the ground? Okay, um, so what you then need to do is you could also use your graphic calculator and then calculate from the beginning. So the graph might look like that. Okay, so basically, okay, that's a graph. So that's H, that's your T. Okay, so basically the graph looks like that. And we know that um, the y-intercept, the y-intercept, uh, sorry, the y-intercept is actually 1.2. Because when T equals 0, that's actually, um, oh, come on. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, we know that here is 1.2, 1.2 meters. So we want to calculate how long does it take for the ball to hit ground. Basically, what we need to do is we need to get this x intercept. Okay, and this is how long. So this x intercept this is how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground because it flies from here t equals zero all the way to here and then it reaches the ground again because the ground level is zero okay which i'm also going to show you um, how to use the graphic calculator um, to actually calculate it i'm going to show you in another video